I wonder why he never stood up for himself, though, Nick. Well, I think that... Well, you mean by the publishing situation? No, whatever, with who, you know, getting... Not getting credit for stuff, not bothering about credit for, for you know, this, that and the other. He just kind of... Well, I mean, I don't think he was in the business for credit. I think he was in the business for music. And he was... Don't forget he was managed by DeFries. DeFries tried to turn him into another Bowie. Yeah, he ain't, really, a, he ain't a front man, man. No, not a front man. And, but, and anybody who's in the business really properly and understood records and understood music and understood the business, which DeFries didn't, really, really wouldn't have done that. And um, it was convenient, I think, that he didn't basically kick up a fuss. Yeah. Because there was all sorts of things going on. And that's what the struggle was. David knew it. And David literally had a struggle and I think I made this film for David as much as for Mick because he was working again with Mick and they had plans and when they did the the uh, concert for Freddie yeah. um, Heroes was played and that's a record that um, Mick Ronson should have really played on and he played it and he played it so well and he was a hero. There's no question about it. And David knew that. And if you watch that footage, it was like coming back together. Yeah. They went in the studio and lots of plans were being made. And they just ran out of time. Yeah.